Welcome back, everybody. So we just got done cooking our mahi-mahi with our moho sauce. It was delicious. We had such a blast here fishing in Florida. Now I've got some trigger fish and some lane snapper. I'm here with my buddy John on the intercoastal waterway, and we are going to make some delicious fish tacos. Now I'm gonna make some pickled onions for the tacos. Gonna thinly slice some red onion. We'll put those in a little cast iron skillet on top of the griddle, get it nice and hot. We're gonna cover that with some distilled white vinegar all the way up to the top. Gonna put a little bit of salt in there and then some sugar. We'll mix that around and we'll set it over here on the pier until later so those can get pickled and turn a gorgeous color. Alrighty, let's make our taco sauce here. Have a little bit of sour cream. You can use low fat, regular. And then we have some plain Greek yogurt here. You don't want vanilla, you want plain. Just gonna mix this together like so. Uh, we're gonna squeeze some fresh lime juice in there. Blackstone's tequila lime seasoning, like so. Some fresh chopped cilantro. A little kosher salt and some black pepper. We'll give that a mix here and I'm gonna do a lot of this to sight. We'll see what it looks like and if we need to, we can just add a little more seasoning or a little more cilantro as we go. We caught a beautiful trigger fish yesterday so I have some little trigger fish fillets. We caught a bunch of lane snapper, pretty little yellow orange fish. So we have lane snapper fillets here as well. I'm gonna go in there and just chop these up into taco size pieces. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and just mix these together. This will be sort of um, like a uh, medley, I guess. A, uh, a pompano area medley taco. You can adjust your griddle accordingly. I'm burning pretty hot right now. We're in medium. If I need to, I can go up to high later. We're gonna go down with a little bit of butter on the griddle top here. A little bit of butter. Put a little bit of olive oil down there as well. Followed by my delicious fresh fish there, our trigger fish, and our snapper. Straight down with the tequila lime seasoning as well. You could use just cumin for this. Uh, my buddy Eric Mills, this is a recipe by the way, from Eric and Mindy Mills. We filmed this for Let's Give It a Try a few years ago, and they used adobo for theirs. All right, this is gonna cook really quick. We're just looking to get a sear down there. We can keep bringing that butter and that oil over here. This is gonna be so tasty, so fresh, so delicious. We're getting close to the end here. You can see our trigger fish, our snapper, looking beautiful. We're gonna to top that off with a little bit of coarse kosher salt. Fish is perfect, absolutely perfect. Just look at those colors there. And go ahead and pull this off the griddle like so. Put this on a cutting board and we're gonna grab our corn tortillas. For fish tacos, I love white corn. You can use yellow corn, but I prefer the white corn. We'll throw those down there on the griddle top. You don't want these tortillas to get hard or anything. We're not looking to make a tortilla chip. We just wanna get color on there and we wanna leave these pliable. So we'll flip them. We'll stack these up like so. With a corn tortilla, I like to go double because they're so fragile. And when you go double, uh, it makes them stronger. All right, it's been a couple of hours. You can see my onions are pickled here. So we're just gonna go ahead and empty the water, drain it out here on the beach. And we'll have our pickled onions for later. First up, we have that beautiful, beautiful South Florida. I'm loving this, folks. I'm probably saying this too much, but I am loving my time here in South Florida. Some of that beautiful South Florida fish. And next we're gonna go in with our little uh, cilantro lime sour cream here, like so. You can put a little bit or a lot on there. Uh, those pickled onions, those beautiful pickled onions that we made earlier. Look at that, just nice color. 
a little bit of sweetness, some of the acidity to those, like shoe. If you want extra heat, you could always put a little bit of uh, sriracha on top, or a lot of sriracha on top. A little extra cilantro on top, and then if you want to, grab another one of your lime wedges and go in there for one last drop of lime. Look at me here, by the way. Do I look tropical? Take a look at that. Let's give it a try. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. <laughs> All right, John. Hmm. <laughs> That's really good. These were absolutely delicious. Do you think so? I thought they were awesome. Oh, I love this, by the way. I feel like I'm a man of the tropics. So we've had a blast here in Southern Florida. We went fishing, we had a blast. I caught a trophy mahi and it had an incredible time. Special thanks to my buddy, John here. And oh my goodness, you look him up, by the way. Uh, Facebook, YouTube, Ludlow Cooks. I'll put everything down below, L-U-D-L-O-W. Just fun family cooking and a lot of it on the Blackstone Griddle. So until next time, everybody, this is Todd and John were saying praise the Lord and pass the tacos the fish tacos, fish tacos. <laughs>